In this video, we're going to focus on the background color option in the Chart.js plugin for data labels. And this is very important as well because the background color, although once you understand the structure, you'll probably figure out how to do multiple of these. However, what I want to do is I want to explain a little bit about how you can read the commands in the data labels documentation. So in here, basically, you can see here all the options here, and there's a whole list of them. And you can see here, this is the background color. That's the one we're going to do, and we're going to adjust the background color. You can see here, there's a style option here, and then the default value is null, meaning there's no value in there. It just doesn't exist. So the value is equal to none or zero. Probably none is more appropriate because there is no value. Zero is still considered a value. So basically just blank. So, and this is scriptable, meaning that you can, we can add it in a script, but also indexable. And indexable is something you probably are very familiar with if you're working with colors in Chart.js, where you have an array of values. This is what they call indexable. Basically, all of these are almost indexable until here, except for these here, because these are probably just solid values for one value that will apply to all. While this one can be controlled and can be adjusted for every bar or line chart specifically. So let's look at this and then you can see here the style. If you click on this, you want to understand here the style options and more specifically the color color method they're using here. It's the basic CSS, the, the canvas gradient or the ca canvas pattern. And here you can see your colors, every type of color we're using. So let's start and play around with the background color for now. What we're going to do is in here, we're going to add up the background color and it's here at the bottom. So if we add up here the data label, so we will make sure that it will be applied on every data set. So let's put in here background color. And then in here, this is indexable, meaning we're going to create an array here. And what I want to do is instead of here, what I want to do is we want to give it the background color and the background color will match with this nice background color here. Let's go to grab them and make them indexable as well. So we say here, all of these background colors, we can copy every one of these, including the brackets, meaning this is an indexable value with six values here. And we just do it same here. We can just copy it all in here and paste this in. And once we do that, and just put it in here, once we do that and refresh, you can see now we have a background color and I'm not sure if you're seeing it clearly, but this is a background color now that we apply here, which looks matching with the one on our bar chart and this is a very simple item but this is basically how to do it and most important one eventually as well understanding the meaning or the color structure you can do but also just understand the structure of this so i will after this i will go very fast through all these others here to explain them step by step although they will probably make all sense by now Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.